Redmi Note 7. Now with the Redmi Note 7, we have performance redesign. And we'll get into each of these, but again, we are redefining what you get in its particular class. Let's get into performance. The Note 7 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 AIE. No 625 because we lost them. It is a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core processor, and it absolutely changes everything else in its price class. It's based on a Cryo 260 architecture, and it's got four performance cores and four efficiency cores. So essentially, your gaming as well as your day-to-day -day tasks are easily handled. Now, uh, why am I saying that this is a, a game changer or the best in its class? We have, over the past couple of weeks, or a few, yeah, a pa recent past, we have seen a couple of devices that launched with the so-called Snapdragon 660 processor. In fact, we found about four of them. And these range from about 15,000 all the way to about 25,000. And all of them claim that they're running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. So we decided to test how the Note 7 performs versus all of them. The Note 7 is on an average 10% faster than any of these devices. And do you guys know why? Any guesses? It's because none of them were actually giving you a proper 660. All of them called out 660. They wrote about 660 in their product data sheets. Uh, you know, they had the media briefs given out saying it's a 660, but in fact, it was a 660 light. And you get 10% lesser performance with that. In fact, me fans, if you know anyone who bought any of these devices, you should go and ask them to ask the brand to get their money back, at least 10% discount. So with the Note 7, you get a proper high-performance Snapdragon 660. Uh, so these are obviously 660 Lite. We also decided to compare the Note 7 with some of the other recently launched devices. So you saw the Honor 10 Lite running a Kirin 710, and there's a, a couple of Samsung devices that use the same processor, the Exynos 7904. So both, both these have different price points, but the same processor. So we decided to compare with these as well. Uh, of course, you know what the result is going to be, right? It's a Redmi Note. There's a massive difference. In fact, not only does it outperform the Kirin 710 by a margin of about 10%, but there's an almost 30% gap when you compare this with the Exynos 7904. I don't think it's really fair to compare these two. Now, it is a note, and we're talking about performance. Of course, you expect a 4,000 mAh two-day battery. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Redmi Note 7 also gets support for Quick Charge 4. Moving on to the next section, the Redmi Note 7 camera. Now, we gave a few of our Mi fans the Redmi Note 7 to go and test. And they came back with some incredible snaps. Photographs like this. Now, this is a portrait shot. And it's absolutely stunning. You can, of course, see uh, Xiaomi's semantic segmentation working perfectly. But even the detailing that you see on the subject is absolutely on point. In fact, let's go a little further out and a little more complex as a situation. Take a look at this shot. Now, the colors, the detailing, <clears throat> the detailing, the vibrancy, all of that has been preserved really well. And this one is my personal favorite. Uh, this is from Jaipur. And this was during 
a very cloudy day. So it's a harder shot to get. But the Note 7 does that perfectly. So on the Redmi Note 7, what we have is dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel primary clubbed with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And this 12 megapixel primary sensor is a 1.25 micron sensor. So about 25% larger overall pixel area compared to a traditional 1.12. And hence, gathering in a lot more light to give you those results that you just saw. Like the Note 7 Pro, the Note 7 also will get a steady handheld night photography mode. And this, of course, you can see it dramatically changes and improves the overall low light performance. The Note 7 also has a 13 megapixel front camera. And it gives you those amazing pictures. <clears throat> you get an AI portrait selfie, you got AI beautify, you have AI scene detection, and of course, it supports face unlock. If you look at this particular example, like the Note 7 Pro, you can clearly figure out how well this has worked. In fact, the gap between the two subjects is even bigger, and you can clearly see that the background has been blurred out while the subjects are completely in focus, all the details have been preserved, and the edge detection is absolutely flawless. Moving on to the design, the Note 7 also follows the Aura design philosophy. You've got an immersive experience, incredible focus on the detail, yet retailing, retaining all the, the functional aspects of the device. The Note 7 has a 6.3 inch dot notch display. It is again a 19.5 is to 9 display. It's a full high definition plus display. And it still features the super expensive LTPS in cell screen technology. And because of all of this, you know we're able to get smaller bezels. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Note 7 also features Corning Gorilla Glass 5 both at the front and the back. No compromises here. It comes in three amazing colors. <clears throat> we have the Onyx Black, and this looks incredibly classy. We've got the Ruby Red and the Sapphire Blue. I, I just love how the, the light kind of reflects off the back. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, let's look at all the three colors together. The Onyx Black, the Sapphire Blue, and the Ruby Red. So, Redmi Note 7, performance redesign. It's built for people, our fans, who want that performance coming in in this price class. It is not an underclocked version. It is not a light version. It gives you the proper performance of a Snapdragon 660. Of course, you've got the immersive dot notch display. It is a 6.3 inch full high definition plus display. And it still has Gorilla Glass 5 both at the front and the back. Uh, you have this incredible reflective design and these three colors. You have a 13 megapixel AI front camera. You have a 12 megapixel camera at the back, which is a larger 1.25 micron size. And of course, a 4000 mAh noteworthy battery with Quick Charge 4 supported, as well as a Type C, a 3.5 mm jack, IR remote, and P2I nano coating. So this is the price comparison of Redmi Note 7 versus few other devices. OK, guys. <laughs> OK, 3 plus 32. So yes, it's going to be launched at 9 triple 9. And the 4 GB, 64 GB is going to be launched at 11 triple 9. So these are the prices for Redmi Note 7. And as you can see, it's a league apart as compared to Realme 2 Pro, Oppo K1, Honor 10 Lite, Samsung M20, each of these devices. Much better specs at a much more honest price. So that's Redmi Note 7 for you guys. A really great device. And a warm welcome to all our partners, our media colleagues, and of course, all our fans. Welcome. 
to the launch of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we have gone rounds up and completely changed our design philosophy. So with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in an all new Aura design. As you saw, the Aura design philosophy is a factor of three things. We are giving an incredibly immersive experience. There's a lot of attention to detail. And we are doing all of this, making a beautiful device without compromising on the functionality. Something that our Mi fans have always loved. Moving into the immersive experience. For the first time ever on a Redmi Note, we are using a 19.5 is to 9 dot notch display. Now this is a full HD display that takes brightness and contrast levels to a whole new level. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, for the first time, we have a 2.5D curved glass. And not just in the front, but the back as well. Now that's the Neptune Blue. Now it looks absolutely amazing with that entire gradient finish coming in. Uh, another angle for the Neptune Blue, and you can absorb this more. Uh, it is a really good device. Uh, one more angle for Note 7 Pro's Neptune Blue color. Now, not just that, we've taken the gradient finish to another level, and we also have the Nebula Red. Looks absolutely stunning, almost from all angles that you look at it. And again, you can see the frame is matching with the entire gradient finish. It is an outstanding looking device. Another angle. Now these are the two gradient finishes that we've got. What happens if you have someone in your team, someone who's a little more conservative, someone like probably Manu. Yeah. For him, these colors are a bit too much. He said it's for the younger people. Uh, I, I do like the blue. For those people, actually not, it, it's actually a really good color. Uh, we are also getting the classic space black. And this is a black that you've never seen before. It's absolutely stunning. It looks classy as well as it gives you this entire vibrance that you expect from the Note 7 Pro. Another angle for the space black. And here are all three colors in the same frame. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. Both at the front and the back, we are introducing Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. We are also introducing a Type C port for the first time on the Note series. So with the IR Blaster, and almost all our uh, Redmi Note devices have had this, you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a universal remote. You can control thousands of devices, TVs, set-top boxes, game consoles, fans, pretty much everything that uses IR technology. It's something that our fans have absolutely loved, and we are not giving up on that. Now this uses the same ARM A76 cores as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is a truly powerful chip. And this chip that we're using <coughs> on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is none other than <laughs> an absolute phenomenal chip running on the Cryo 460 architecture. It's an 11 nanometer FinFET process. So it's not just more powerful, but it's also a lot more efficient. And yes, it is an octa-core chip. But that's the hardware part. We've also made optimizations when it comes to software. In fact, we are running MIUI 10 based on Android Pie. And from a performance point alone, there are more than 20 different optimizations that have been done. And the Note 7 Pro comes with a 4,000 mAh battery that easily lasts you two days on a single charge. The camera. Now, 
The camera on the Note 7 Pro is a combination of a 48 megapixel camera, and that's the primary camera, and along with that 48, you have a 5 megapixel depth sensor for those amazing portrait shots. Okay, so we've decided to use the highest resolution sensor available on any smartphone, period. It is an absolutely amazing sensor. It changes mobile photography forever. And of course, it is there on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. So that's the rear camera. Uh, on the front, we have a 13 megapixel camera. Automatically enhances your image as well as the background, depending on what the background is. You also have AI face unlock. For those who prefer, just look at the phone to unlock. The Note 7 Pro, 48 megapixel camera beast, unbeatable detailing, day, and as you saw, night as well. It's got a Sony IMX586 sensor, the largest, highest resolution sensor ever put on a smartphone. And we've taken it to the next level with a wider f1.79 aperture. It also supports 4K recording and an all-new night mode. Uh, of course, from a portraiture perspective, you've got a 5 megapixel depth sensor, and you saw you can get some amazing portrait shots with the AI scene detection and portrait 2.0. In the front, you've got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, which does AI face beautify, uh, scene detection, face unlock, as well as a studio lighting selfie that's coming pretty soon. Now, Note 7 Pro, <coughs> a lot has changed. From the Note 6 Pro, we have, of course, changed the camera. Uh, it moves to a 48 megapixel camera with the 5 megapixel depth sensor. Uh, the super pixel is a 1.6 micron super pixel now, giving you amazing low light photography. Even the aperture, aperture is bigger, so it lets in a lot more light, getting you a lot more details. We've used an all new Snapdragon 675, pushing the overall smartphone performance to the next level. We saw it is 17% faster than even the Snapdragon 710. We've got an all-new immersive design. We've got a 15, oh, sorry, a 19.5 to a 9 dot-notch display. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back. And this glass is curved beautifully <clears throat> that fits into the frame. We've got Quick Charge 4 supported. We've got an all-new Type-C, first for a Redmi Note. We've got 4K UHD recording. We've got EIS, and of course, a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery and dual SIM, dual Volte. It's not dual SIM, dual standby. It supports DSDV. So, a 48 megapixel camera beast in all this glory. Again, to recap, 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor. Absolutely incredible. You saw the results. It is a flagship sensor that we are putting in the Note 7 Pro. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675, giving you flagship level gaming experience. It's got dual Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and an all new gradient design, which looks absolutely stunning. It's got a 13 megapixel AI front camera. An all new immersive dot notch display, which is 6.3 inch full HD, plus, and a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery with Quick Charge 4 supported. The price for Redmi Note 7 Pro 4GB, 64GB variant is going to be. thirteen triple nine. And the price for 6 GB, 128 GB is going to be 16 triple nine. Really incredible specs, incredible price, and there is no comparison to other phones with similar kind of specs or even phones which do not have these kind of specs. Oh, 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 oh,